Charity didn't really know her dad that well. He was always off skiing with this girlfriend or down in Florida with that girlfriend. It wasn't like he was a daily dad. She might see him once every three or four weeks. Never took her to school, never gave her a bath, never dressed her. I don't even know that he sat down and had a meal with her. So I don't think it really affected her. What affected her was kids would come up and say, oh, I hear your mommy killed your daddy. Or, you know, you'd be in a grocery store checking out and uh, somebody would say, oh, you're that woman. Did you kill him? Well, you know, <laughs> so at her age, I'm sure that was very tough. My father was involved in auto theft. And then I believe he had started into drug trafficking. So what I heard growing up was, you know, it was these guys that did it. It wasn't me. I was framed. I believed her. It wasn't until after Ella died that I really began to take a second look. So I went to Georgia and talked to the DA that prosecuted her, the detectives. And I ran across the report by the officer who transported my mother to the station that morning. You know, and he said, I saw her in the mirror, and it seemed at times that she was really pleased with herself. They even had a napkin where my mother had drawn a map of the house and marked on there that this door would be unlocked. I think he had started doing drugs and getting sloppy. And I think she felt like her financial security was threatened. So she eliminated a problem. And so, of course, there's the thoughts, OK, so your mom might have killed your dad, and your son definitely killed your daughter. You know, where does all of this come from? Up until Charity was 12 years old, she was the most wonderful, loving child that anyone could wish for. We were inseparable. And then from 12 on, it's been, it's like an alcoholic. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. If she'd get mad at me because I wouldn't allow her to do something, it was, well, you murdered my daddy. So she was a good manipulator. But we all are. Paris is. Ella was. I would be lying to you if I said that I wasn't. We all manipulate each other. We're all spoiled rotten. My other daughter came. I don't think she's quite as good. She didn't have as good a teacher because I don't do it so much anymore. I don't have a company to manipulate. I don't have drivers to manipulate. And I don't have a jury to manipulate. So. My mother was sending Paris really inappropriate material for a boy in prison for murdering his sister. He wanted a science fiction book, so I had it sent to him. And they denied it because inside the book, there's a picture of a woman and her breasts are exposed, but it's just a drawing. So he says, take the book apart Send me a chapter at a time, and when you get to the picture with the bare breast, he said, tell Cayman just to draw a bra on it. Let's see, raping women, murdering them, 
bludgeoning people to death. 